this video I'm going to show you how R uh, vectorizes many operations. Uh, the operations I'm thinking of right now are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, exponents, the, and all those modular arithmetic things. But there's other other operations that it does that it that work this way. Simply what I mean by this is let's start with some vectors I already have loaded up. I've loaded up a vector x, which consists of four twos, and then I have a vector z, which consists of one, two, three, four. Um, addition is vectorized. So if I do x plus z, what happens? It goes term by term, and this is what I mean by vectorized. Term by term, I'm adding. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 plus 4 is 6. Whereas if I was looking at these guys again, and I wanted to do subtraction, well, you can see here that going down the first column, it's going term by term and subtracting. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So term by term, it applies the operation. Now, an operation that'll look a little weird to you will be x, and I'm going to raise it up to the z. Actually, let me write these guys down again. x, and then there's z, so x raised up to the z. Now, what did that do? Well, basically, it went term by term, and the x was in the base, so it took 2, raised it up to the first power. That's how I got 2. 2 raised up to the second power is 4, 2 raised to the third power is 8, 2 raised to the fourth power is 16. Now if I did that in the reverse order, so I'm just going to put these back here so we can see them again. And if I did z raised up to the x power, well you get something different. Because what's it doing there? It's taking 1, it's raising up to a 2, it's taking 2, raising up to a 2, 3, raised up to the 2, 4, raised up to the 2. So I end up getting 1, 2, 3, 4, and they're each squared. So it's a vectorized operation. Term by term, the operation gets applied. Now, something goofy about this is everything was being raised to the 2 power. I could have just typed in z to the 2. And this is an interesting thing about the operations in here, too. That 2 is, if you look at this, z has four elements. This 2 is just a vector, and it's one element. So it doesn't make any sense that it's going, it's doing what? Going term by term by term when there's only one element there. Well, this is another feature of R where it recycles vectors if one's too short or one's too long in one of these operations. What I mean by this, um, just to give you another idea, let me clear that out. Let's stick with Z. And then let's make another vector and I'll call it Y. And Y is going to consist of, uh, I'll do something easy, 2 comma 3. So if I do Z, raised up to the y. Okay. One's got four elements, one's got two. But what happens here? It's going to use, it's really using two, three, two, three. So it's taking this one, raising it up to the second power. That's how I get the one there. Then it goes to the two, and it raises it up to the third power. That's where the eight comes from. And then this nine is coming from the three, and then I'm recycling the two. And then the four, is going to be raised up to the third power when I recycle that 3 there. So that's what the, I mean by the uh, vectorized operations and how R will kind of recycle vectors when you're using these operations if one doesn't match up with another. Now just a funny little thing, if I do Y raised up to the Z, we get something like this. And it's recycling the Y vector in this particular case. Okay. So that's how you recycle, and that's how the vectorized operations work.